हेलो एंड वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू गेट वाला इंग्लिश अ डेडिकेटेड चैनल फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट हु आर कंफर्टेबल इन इंग्लिश एंड एज यू नो वी हैव रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड अ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव यूट्यूब सीरीज वे आर वी आर कवरिंग ऑल द बेसिक सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ईच ब्रांच एंड इन दैट सीरीज वी हैव अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट फॉर यू we are going to start fluid mechanics in english on this particular channel and with me i have the master of fluid mechanics sandeep chandrapkar sir who is going to tell you everything you need to know about fluid mechanics before you start the preparation for fluid mechanics see when you are preparing for an exam like gate it is very very important to understand about how you are going to prepare each and every subject what is exactly the syllabus of each subject why because whatever is your branch whether you are from mechanical or from civil or from xc or from pi you have 10 to 12 subjects in each branch in those subjects we have 8 to 10 chapters and in every chapter we have multiple topics and sub topics so if you don't know exactly what is the syllabus and how you are going to cover that syllabus you are going to end up wasting a lot of time and energy so you need to channelize your time and energy in a particular way you need to optimize your preparation so that you get the most out of it so the first thing that you need to understand whether if you are preparing for gate is what is this exam all about if you are preparing for gate you need to understand that this exam is all about understanding how to apply the concepts the questions that you are going to see in your gate exam are going to be based on the concepts but not exactly on the concept means when we are solving questions for universities when we are studying for semester exams most of the times we get questions from very simple examples of each topic right so they are directly based on the equations that we study but in gate exam you are going to see a different type of question basically the these questions are going to test the application part of the concept whether you are able to apply the concept and whether you are uh, able to solve that question that is what they are going to test so the nature of question are basically the application they are going to test the application part okay and what are the types of questions so you basically get three types of questions there are numerical answer type questions there are multiple choice questions and there are multiple select questions and you know that you get only one mark and two mark questions the two mark questions will be maximum of three four line solutions that means you will be able to solve every question of gate within 2 to 3 minutes maximum 5 minutes okay any d type question means here you are not going to get any options here you have to put the answer in your numeric form mcq questions means you are going to get four options and one of these options are going is going to be correct msq question means there will be four options just like mcq but there can be more than one possible answers so if you are preparing for any subject when you are practicing problems you need to practice problems of this pattern you need to problem practice nat questions mcq questions msq questions you need to understand basically what will be the type of questions coming from this particular topic so here we are going to discuss if you are studying fluid mechanics what should be the syllabus exactly which topics you need to study what is the weightage which chapters are more important which chapters are less important from which book you can practice the problems so everything that you need to understand about the preparation of this subject so here we have sandeep chandrakar sir who is going to start fluid mechanics very soon he will tell you the entire details he will tell you the date he will tell you the time but before that he will tell you everything about fluid mechanics so sandeep sir very warm welcome uh thank you aproop sir and uh, hello everyone so uh, let's discuss about the uh, syllabus of mechanical engineering civil engineering chemical engineering and also the xc branch right 
so see if i'm talking about the syllabus if i'm talking about the mechanical syllabus so this is the uh, syllabus which i am getting from official site iit's official site so this is the complete syllabus of the fluid mechanics right and if you see here fluid mechanics part uh, that uh, if i'm talking about the syllabus the syllabus is actually so vast right but here if you see uh, the syllabus the syllabus is uh, in three or four lines but if actually you are studying the fluid mechanics then you realize that fluid mechanics part is so vast right and see fluid mechanics subject is a very fundamental subject very basic subject and also you can save for other subject that knowledge of fluid mechanics is very very important right let us talk about the heat transfer subject i am talking about the heat transfer subject without knowing the concept of fluid mechanics it is not possible to uh, it is not possible to learn the convection heat transfer especially convection heat transfer because in convection heat transfer there is a some knowledge of fluid mechanics is required so most of the student facing problem in convection heat transfer because the fluid mechanics concept is not up to the mark right so that's why the fluid mechanics subject yes this is a fundamental subject this is a very basic subject as well as it is very important subject for any competitive exam not only the gate right gate is a one exam yes definitely but apart from the gate it is important for the engineering services examination it is important for the ssc level examinations it is important for the state level examination so this uh, fluid mechanics part is very very important right so this is the complete syllabus of mechanical engineering right now if i am talking about the weightage right because uh, weightage is also very very important right as approv sir already told you what type of question is asked in the gate examination if we are uh, uh, if we are focusing here uh, for gate examination only right so already approv sir told you ki which type of questions is asked right so see if i am talking about the weightage if i am talking about the weightage so in mechanical engineering in mechanical engineering that weightage is weightage is 8 to 10 marks right this is a highly weighted subject and i also told you the concept right concept which, uh, which is used in the fluid mechanics those concept are also very very important in case of the heat transfer subject right now see this uh, if i'm talking about the questions right questions which are asked in the gate examination right so if you see this table in gate 2014 the six marks right the question from fluid mechanics is six marks in gate 2023 right nine marks gate 2022 we have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 right uh, morning session and afternoon session in paper 1 eight marks paper 2 seven marks in gate 2021 again uh, paper is in two shift paper 1 four marks paper 2 eight marks right similarly 2020 2020 2019 2018 2018 so if you see here it is clearly it is i, I can say it is um, very much clear right that on an average uh, on an average that weightage is 6 to 8 marks or you can say 8 to 9 marks now come to the civil syllabus right if i'm talking about the civil syllabus right these is the this is the civil syllabus and see if i'm talking about the weightage as compared to the mechanical engineering in civil engineering the weightage is less right weightage is weightage is 4 to 5 marks 4 to 5 marks right open channel flow is not considered here right open channel flow is considered as a separate subject right this is weightage of fluid mechanics only right so in civil engineering this weightage is 4 to 5 marks come to the chemical syllabus if i am talking about the chemical syllabus so this is a complete chemical syllabus and if i am talking about the weightage if i am talking about the weightage so weightage is again 8 to 10 marks so in chemical engineering fluid mechanics is again very very important subject because the weightage is 8 to 10 marks right now come to the xc in xc 
there is a separate section for the fluid mechanics and we know that in xc paper in xc paper right uh, if i'm talking about the fluid mechanics so in fluid fluid mechanics we have total 33 questions we have sorry we have 22 questions 22 questions and 35 marks right we have nine question uh what we have one marks nine question and two marks 13 question right so if you see the excess syllabus that excess syllabus is vast but right but if you are comparing with the mechanical syllabus and the excess syllabus then we can say there are some topic which are not part of the mechanical engineering syllabus right but that is a part of the xc syllabus especially if i'm talking about the potential flow Potential flow is not in the mechanical syllabus, but yes, it is in the uh, excess syllabus. So there are some topics like Renard transport theorem, right? Renard transport theorem is uh, not a part of the mechanical syllabus, but yes, it is a part of the excess syllabus, right? So we will we will try to cover all the uh, topics thoroughly. Okay, so this is a complete syllabus for the XC. Okay, now if I'm talking about the books. Right. If I'm talking about the books, there are number of books related to uh, related to the fluid mechanics. But here I especially mentioned some standard books, right? Like Sanjal and Simbala. This is one of the good book because in this book, uh, if you see this book, then it is very much clear. This book considered number of applications, right? The second most important book is the. Uh, John and Michel, this is also a very good book of fluid mechanics. Then next book is a Frankel and White, right? Frankel and White is also a very good book. Sometimes you are getting direct question from this book only, right? In gate examination. The next book is the Soman Biswas. This is a one of the good book in, uh, if I'm talking about the Indian author. So in Indian author, this is one of the good book, right? Soman and Biswas. And come to the next book. For the practice, uh, for practicing the number of questions, for practicing the number of question, I recommend one very important book that is a K Subramaniam, right? Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulic Machines uh, by K Subramaniam. This book consists number of problems, number of problems. So if you want to practice number of question apart from the classes, then definitely you can prefer this book. This is a one of the good book, right? Fluid Mechanics and the Hydraulic Machines. Okay, and See, if you want to practice gate problems, right? Because end of the day, uh, our motto to solve the gate problems, right? If you practice number of problems, but if you are not able to solve the gate problems, then see, you uh, then your confidence is definitely low, right? So if you want to practice the gate problem, then definitely, definitely one of the good PYQ book is a Gatewala book because in this book, you are getting uh, video solution, right? If you are facing any difficulty in any problem, then you are definitely, uh, you have definitely a video solution which help you. Okay, now, next part is how to revise. Right, next very, very important part. See, I already told you, fluid mechanics syllabus is very, very, uh, very, very vast. If I'm talking about the, let us consider fluid statics, right? Fluid statics, has a uh, five parts, right? Basically, I uh, I categorize the fluid statics in a five parts. The first part is a uh, fluid properties. Second part is a pressure and pressure measurement. Third part is a hydrostatic pressure force on surfaces. It may be curved surface, it may be planar surface, buoyancy and flotation, right? So, if you see, uh, fluid static consists four to five parts. Similarly, fluid kinematics is there. Similarly, fluid dynamics is there. And in the fluid dynamics, again, there are a number of uh, subtopics. Right? So I already told you that mechan uh, not only the mechanical, right? That fluid mechanics syllabus is so vast. Right? And if you start studying fluid mechanics, then definitely, definitely your uh, 400, 500 copies complete. Right? So it is not possible to revise from the master notes. That's why short notes is very, very important for this subject. Not only this subject, 
if you are appearing if you are planning to appear in the gate examination then short notes is very very important right so try to make short notes thoroughly right with the class only right short make proper short notes make proper short notes and revise from that short notes right test series right in future definitely you are getting mock test right in the uh, or test series okay so uh, we will start fluid mechanics from uh, monday and monday is i think uh, monday monday is i think 6 may right we will start fluid mechanics from 6 may and timing for this session is uh, 7 to 9 pm so we will start fluid mechanics from 6 may 6 may that is monday and timing is timing is 7 to 9 pm right Okay, so any question that you have? Any question that you have? Okay, so see you guys on Monday. Thank you so much for this session. So bye-bye, take care, and have a good night.